Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah. Okay. You guys hear those frogs? It's the first day or third day of spring or something like that, just started. Yep. So we are heading out into the forest, into the grove, and we are going to Beautiful day. cook some food, have some good time, and bring you guys along for the trip. So here we go. It's good to be in the woods. Safety goggles. How's that? We can grab this thing out here. Alright guys, we're going to use some fierce fire this time. That failed our attempt with just the natural wood. It would work if we tried longer, but it's time to upgrade here. Fierce fire from Ingalls Creek Wilderness Outfitters. Alright guys, well we are here on location and we've got the fire started, we've got some food, and we're kind of right in between these two streams here, running on both sides. Nice and warm fire happening, looking good. Excellent time here. Can't be good. Making a Mex like a Texican something. <laughs> what are you doing, bro? Uh, yeah, making a stove. Okay, we're gonna see if it works. Currently, we're just doing this. That's working okay too. 
Those are looking nice. Man, guys, these VOD cookies up real good. And they're almost all gone because they're so good. And some maple syrup from the good old Maple Leaf State, known as Canada. So good. Think about it. New York steak right here. They taste as good as they look, but they look really good. Mmm. That looks nicely done. Alright guys, well, we're almost getting done. Vlad is hanging out there in his hammock. Uh, we've had a good amount of steak, a bunch of breakfast sausage. The tea is just, just done brewing and it's just now kind of cooling down a little bit. It's a little bit too warm. Um, and in terms of other things here, so the fire was great. Uh, it took a little bit to get started, but after that it was just fine. The Dutch stove took a little bit of finagling. First time we've made one. I think it's, I don't know what it's called. I think that's what it's called. It's like an underground jet stove. You can see that nice warmth in there. And I did finish my steak off on that a little bit. I might fry an egg on it still. So... We're almost done and almost ready to head out. It's big time. Yep. Look at this. Ah, that's cool. There's the egg down there. Okay guys, we've got some scrambled egg. This is a uh, scrambled O style. Go check out his channel. Scrambled O. This is how he makes his eggs actually. Pretty good. Sorry. I, I don't I don't not dissing on the guy. The guy's actually pretty cool, but. Oh yeah. Made right here. So nice. That's our first time doing this. Underground jet stove. Whatever it's called. Actually worked okay but we just need to do it right next time do it from the beginning it took a while to dry the ground out underground jet still huh well we are heading back now that was an excellent little trip thank you for coming along uh leave your comments questions down below and uh any other gear we use or anything in the video if you guys are interested ask what it is we can answer what it is in the comments down there and give you links to the stuff that we use um, it was 
good little fun. Doing a little bushcraft camping, just having a good time in the woods. So thank you for watching. And as always, don't forget to praise God for everything he provides for us. And thank him for everything he gives you. And we will see you guys in the next video. It's been Eugene. And Vlad. From Ruby Outdoor Gear. And we will see you again soon. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. I got three actually. Mm. Okay, they're cool. Ugh, it stinks. <laughs>